Hey everybody, I'm Yendi and this is Odyssey with Yendi, Untold Journeys, where I speak with some of my favorite people and have some shape-shifting conversations. Here, they share their stories leaving nuggets of goodness and life lessons to motivate and inspire our own life's journeys. Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys is brought to you in partnership with MasterCard. Together, let's start something priceless. And Sagicor. From home sweet home to LED. From boombox to Bluetooth. From rotary dial phone to smartphone. Sagicor has been here through it all. From old roads to highways. From your first child to grandchild. We've been helping you achieve your goals, secure your future, protect your loved ones, and put a smile on your face. Sajigor, standing with you for 50 strong years. Use your MasterCard contactless, a fast, easy, and secure way to pay, so you can spend more time with those you love. Because creating extraordinary moments is essential. Together, let's start something priceless. Mr. Sim Simmer, the girls them sugar, the king of the dance hall, the doctor himself, Beanie Man, die! <laughs> Moses. In the ranking. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell everybody my artist name. Just cool. Oh, you expose me, sir. Oh, yeah, artist, the artist, man. <laughs> in the ranking. <laughs> You are the boss. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's so good to see you. Always good to see you. Trust man. me, you know it always lifts my spirits when I see you. Always. It lifts my spirit too because you're my friend. Yeah. You see it? I'm like see you too. Yeah, man. Because I like your vibes and, you know, yeah, you, you're more human than some of them. You know? mm. Yeah, some of them pretend to be, but you are. You see it? I'm a dad's. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. That's the interview. <laughs> Being a man, same love me. <laughs> a joke. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, let us talk about the fact that you've now been doing this for a little, uh, a little bit over 10 years, right? Is, is, is about that? Well, it's about 30 years over 10. Can so, you imagine that? A four decade career. Yeah. Well, when you do something where you love, it's not really a career, it's something where you do all of your life. Mm. You see it? So you mm. can't stop do something that you love. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's always with you. It's always going to be a part of you. And yeah. it's always going to be you. Yeah. You see it? So, in any way, people take it, I am always going to be here. Because yeah. I started out crying. That's the day I was born, didn't it? Mm. There you go. Blessings. Word. Then I start the music and I start to talk good. Yeah. Yeah, because when I start talking, I couldn't talk because I was a stammer kid. Really? Yeah. So this is the reason why we're having this conversation right now. And I'm not taking 10 minutes to make one sentence. It's because of music. So music is how you stop stammering? Mm-hmm. I sing everything. Really? Yeah. The yeah, guy shop, I just work out the list and just sing everything. Like when I did primary school and them say, Reading time and them called me up for read. Yeah, yeah. The whole classroom they pan. Cause them know me now read. I sing, me I can sing. Uh, yeah. Whoa, that is brilliant. Yeah, well, me never knew say it was brilliant till me tried. Nothing tried, nothing done. Right? Yeah. I have the most random question now, me now like or the next thing that came to my mind was, is that why he does stand diggy diggy danga danga ding ding yeah. diggy diggy ding? Yeah, cause the more the, the, the more you speed up, the more you, you speak more. You see it, so it help your speech pattern. So it, yeah. Brr. Die. 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 Tell me man. Tell me that. Wow. Oh, so we're going to go back there, but yeah. I have to... Over 40 years in this business, yeah. and you are still putting out music. You have mm. a new album out. You are still, I mean, even just chatting to you a while ago, you're like, yo, this is what I'm doing. And it don't yeah. matter if it's 5,000 interview, no. don't matter if it's like, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, this is what I do. Because, all right, you don't want to be a star, don't be. You don't want to do this, don't get popular. It's very simple. Hmm. Your popular people are going to want to talk to you. Your face out there, people are going to want a picture. Yeah. So, it comes with the game. <laughs> wow. It comes with the game, man. Yeah. Because... 
in, in, when everybody start everything, you know, everybody want to be popular. It's not like, yeah, we know say, money are going to come with it and millions of dollars are come. We just want to be known for mm -hmm. a talent, mm -hmm. you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have to be young and handsome and I can DJ. Wow. I want the whole Jamaica for now. Yeah. This is where I deal with. So we, 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 you put yourself in a, in a part where you can get recognized, like be recognized. So I enter taste this talent show, mm -hmm. mash up that. You are it, seven, right? Yeah. Mash up that. Then we start part Barry G, the boogeyman, and you have a son named Wadat. Yes. So everywhere I <laughs> play, me dead with him. So, you know, you get more popularity then. You start DJ side, I like a King Yellow Man. You start DJ side, I like a Michael Palmer. You start, you get to me, I say. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the more popular you get, me, I, me, me I come from the day, days off, you make the cassette and you go fine. Yes. You, you, you never have, have a song, all you have to do is just step on the cassette yes, and on the yeah. right cassette. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, you go DJ upon jammies, you make sure you say you DJ at 12 o'clock in the night. So, you can make the cassette. Because 7 o'clock DJ and I make the cassette in it. Oh, okay, that's almost coming like how the stage show go. Yeah, because <laughs> you, you, you see the man who start the dance. Him start the dance at 7. The cassette man come at 9, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So the man who set up the tape at set up 10 o'clock. So you have to hold the mic after that to make the cassette. Yeah. Yeah, so if, if, if you know, if, if, where, where the music call it now? It's not class. If you know, categorize as a late DJ, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. hold the mic late. Mm -hmm. So you have to know, say, you're an apprentice, so you have to hold the mic in apprentice time. Yeah, yeah. So me now, me jump past apprentice car, me dep on TV, me do where it's at, me, me, me have record yeah. and them thing there. <laughs> so when answer put on or when Shankai Sheng put on, me have to get the mic. <laughs> because me have the lyrics for it. And you have a rhythm named diseases. And that the rhythm that bust almost every DJ in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Me have two songs on it over the ocean, over the sea. Mm. All of the girls, they mama do over me, yeah? Over the ocean. And me have next time I say, I as a youth, not too fancy. The school where me go, it named Charles. Go with this. <laughs> that was the lyrics that we used to chat back in them time. But when you make the cassette, them time me you go fine. And that that is where you want to go because, you know, you need to exercise your talent mm -hmm. so other mm -hmm. people can know. But you have to practice a yard before you go abroad. So Mad. this is how you, you know, you start go around on Barry G sound. And then Barry G you now, he loves me so much that he cannot believe, say, I look at you like me. Me, me, me try to build a lyrics every day. So every time you go up on the sound system, you have a new song or two. Mm -hmm. So me, me, me say artists get fired by repeated himself every night. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. The, him, him depp on too much cassette with the same lyrics. Mm -hmm. So people start complaining. So I say artists get fired for that. So back in them days, you have to have lyrics. So I build lyrics every day. I try to build lyrics every day. But how you get inspiration to build something new every day? Well, they, you're, you're inspired by people, you know. Yeah. Because children live where they learn. Mm -hmm. So anything you see, you actually uh, hear and them things. Because remember one time, then we have, um, Sex awareness, uh -huh. education, and yeah. primary school. I'm telling me I got primary school. I'm a bill of lyrics. I say, I as a youth, me don't chat slackness. But me want all man to know this. Who love go a dance and use your penis? You will catch VD and you will catch syphilis. And all the years, I'm not going to complete king. Who can't take the truth? Don't get treated. Up. But that, that was the this style. <laughs> yeah, that was the type of style that was going on at that time. Yeah. So, me now as a little youth, have a lyrics like that. I pay a big man, them used to do. Yeah. All of them commercial and everything. Mm -hmm. Me kind of get a breakthrough. Because Miss Lou want to hear it. Next person over there so want to hear it because them. You don't realize what the man just say? Man said Miss Lou want to hear it, you know? Yeah, then she run ring ding, man. Yo, <laughs> that is like legendary, iconic. Yeah. I mean, imagine. My gosh, sorry, yeah, Moses. Them time the school, Ooh. them time the Miss Lou I invite school. school for ring ding. Show. And yeah, them yeah. Thing and them things. So, as a youth, we get them opportunity there. See, because when Lynch. opportunity knocking on, me have opportunity and I jump through the door. <laughs> me I tell you that. Yeah. Head first or foot first? Get food first. <laughs> yeah, man, because I have to jump on my feet. Because if you go head first, you have to bust up your head. You know, so that's a word, though. 
You have to land on your feet. Even yeah, man, you have to land on your feet at all times. That's a word. Trust me, yeah, man, you have to know that, man. Mm. So you can't go head for him. You go dead. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I changed my mind now. I never asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go food first, man. So at, at them time there, we are come from, but people might hear you talk and feel say yes, we live a beautiful childhood and them things that because through music, but, life never good, life yeah, yeah. never nice. Yeah. My mother used to work for people, so me get the opportunity where me get because me stay with other people. Cause my mother leave me with other people, mm. and then the other people them where well, she leave me with own sound system and them something there. So ah. yeah, she leave me the best pay for them, you know. Right. Yes. In my mother never knew that I was a DJ until I was about 10 years old. Really? Yeah, when my album released. Because my mother is a hardened Christian. I just want to know that still. Right. My band comes to my mother speaking in tongues and them something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she, my mother was a hardened Christian. So certain things I couldn't do. Mm. So upon a Sunday, there's no DJ. But I have a question now. Yeah. When you reach 10 now and she realized that you're DJing, what was her response? Yeah, that kind of one different time because I found my bender go at the time, you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a piece of fun. So. But I'm telling her, when I got fun, you get to me. I'm yeah. a mama that. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. now you're 10 years old, you're alone up because I'm a girl fun. But yeah, man. The problem is when I forget the visa. We'd have a comfy her for she got the immigration um the embassy. embassy. Mm -hmm. Go tell the people them say me live with her. Cause it's not like the people them now give me the visa, you know. Them, them say me have to bring my mother for Because you're set. a minor. Yeah, me yeah. live with my mother. And that was the thing. So I have to explain to her why me I got foreign. A problem, man. Trouble. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have to escape and thing. But them tell me the Friday say me have to bring her back the Monday. Mm -hmm. So, me have the whole weekend for, for work, I, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, so. So, she never have no problem with it after no. you, you, you yeah, work, man, it we work it out? Yeah, work it out today. Yeah, work it out. That's that. When she reached there, them start asking her two questions. And she don't know why me a girl fine because she just figured out some me a DJ and thing. I mean, I'm a family there. But if that did for me, me get the visa, I'm going to get it. <laughs> when it for me, me get the visa was proof that my mother. I live with my mother. Right, right. And that was it. Yeah. I carry her come. <laughs> See her, yeah? You want him live? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. That yeah. was it. But, yeah, man, otherwise, some of my mother, I think she'd have found out some other way. Yeah. But I saw me that for tell her. It's funny because I actually remember the last time I saw you. Mm -hmm. I remember exactly where we were. I remember exactly when it was. Yeah. And it was in Ochi. Yeah, on the beach. Yeah. And I rest upon the restaurant. Please. And you were celebrating mm -hmm. your mom's birthday. My mother's birthday. You remember that? Yes, I remember. My dad, my family, and you, that we got family. Yeah. So yeah, man, I remember that. Man. So and she dipped on the beach. That's really the last time she really full joy herself the, the mm -hmm. right way, like seriously. Because after that, she got really sick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a nice day. It was a nice yeah, day. Yeah, man, that was a it nice was day. So much joy. It was festive. The yeah. vibe did nice. And I actually remember when I was like, yo, yeah, and you're like, yeah, man, we're there. I celebrate my mother. Right, yeah, so it's interesting that you, you know, with you mentioning her now, I know that it's not been an easy time. No, not, not, never. Losing her recently has not been Trust easy. Me. Because, yes, my mother really still, my mother was my best friend. Even though I tell her late, say, <laughs> I mean, you're being one, but. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, everything me and I reason about, yeah. you know? Everything we happen in my life, everything we're going with me, me and I reason about it. Because it's kind of the only person I listen and I have nothing to say. Mm. You see it? She just listened and then when she have something to say, she just called me and said, listen, man. Stop going like you eat that. Put your head on your body and stop going like you eat that. Because mm. you've been through worse, you know? Yeah, yeah. Every day she tell me that. You've been through worse. You've been through worse. You come out through worse. You come out better. Mm. Is it? So, whole heap of things happened to me where me and my mother had reason about mm -hmm. and she gave me the strength, you know? So, 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 so when she, she got actually gone, they get to realize that nobody for actually talk to. Mm. So, I end up talking to myself sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I totally understand that. Yeah. Seriously. Totally understand that. It's a type of a thing as well, it's a type of a loss that I feel like it yeah. don't matter how big it be. Yeah, man, you can't it beat you up, man. It up. don't matter where you reach in life. Yes, uh, and worse, if you love your mother to the point where yeah. 
Yeah, because you have some people, you know, they're only glad to see their mother alive, but they don't really love their mother. Mm. Yeah, but if you love your mother, you're going to miss her now, we are a new, nobody now going to understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless they've been there. Mm -hmm. Hey there, I know you're really enjoying this episode, but I also know you really like my Odyssey by Yendi shirt. So I'm just saying, be sure to click below in the description box to figure out just how you can get your hands on some Odyssey by Yendi apparel. Yeah? Okay? Okay, bye. When you say, she never knew you were a beanie man, <laughs> please tell me about when you knew you were a beanie man. Oh, no, man, I get my name a long time. Uh, uh, Salomon named me, you know. Because where go on now? Music asks all these questions about music. So, I always plan for busting. You know, so, when I start, I don't want to get nothing wrong. You see? <laughs> yeah. So, who your vice are? Who are the producer? Who own the music? Who own your vice? So, you must say, you know, say he's a big man chopping a little boy, buddy. the business. Yeah. So, he must say he's a big man chopping a little boy, buddy. So, he told me to start calling me Beanie Man. So, from me, a five year old, my name is Beanie Man. Oh, my God. But, through my yard name, I Dean. Everybody else named me yard called me Papa Dean. Like, I dad look for Papa Dean. I'm not ramp it, I never want him, so I <laughs> <laughs> So hold on, I'm sorry. So nobody in your yard call you Moses? Nobody? No, no. Your yard name is Dean? Dean, yeah. I have one question, and I'm positive the answer is going to be no. What? Dean up on your birth paper? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> because? No, no my, my name is Dean Martin because my mother couldn't remember Sammy Davis. <laughs> That's why I know him. A Sammy Davis is my name, but um, my mother couldn't remember him. <laughs> so, she remember Dean, man, so she just called me Dean. She, she did love the singer? She loved the group, Red Pack. Oh, OK. Yeah. But you may have a big eye and I'm black and look like Sammy Davis. I saw me for name, because my name Moses Davis. <laughs> she couldn't remember Sammy. <laughs> so, so, she just called me Dean. Yeah. Yo, it's one of actually it's actually one of my favorite things about growing up Jamaican. Yeah. How everybody have a name that is nowhere related to them name no, and not, not on them birth paper or nothing. Yeah. I love that. Dean have a nickname, man. Then alright. Moses my name, you know. Moses Anthony Davis. Right. When me I go to school, I choose to go to school as Anthony Moses Davis. Oh my gosh. That's another name. <laughs> yeah, cause eh, eh, all right. you know Jamaican pick the cruel when it comes to Bible name. Don't... Uh, true. Okay. At any given name, a good name, Jerusalem. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> the name Joshua. <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> I never want to do that to myself. Wait. So, my name Anthony. It's easiest, easier to remember. Yeah, more than somebody, I guess, any name. Where name again? Um, Joseph something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something for the Bible. Just show it where I am. Yeah, man. I see it happen, brother. Ezekiel. You are? Yeah, man. We have a bedroom name, Joshua, man. At any given time, your name is Ezekiel or something. <laughs> I'm just saying, name. What type Bible, man? Yeah, anything. Yeah, man. Anything. Moses, anything. <laughs> Paul. Yeah, man. One of the apostles, them, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> one of them. Tell me, though, tell me when you realized that this thing wasn't just going to be a, a moment in yeah. your life. It was going to be, this was going to be your life. You oh. mentioned before that, you know, when you become famous and. Mm -hmm. People going to talk to and take pictures. When did you realize that, yo, this is my reality now? Oh, when well, me get feel like it. Mm. Can you actually get feel like it? You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you try it, and you say you can do it, and then you figure out, say, this is it. Yeah. So when, when you get the first record release, I mean, I bust, me, 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 me come from Crossroad, I can't tell you this personally. Me come from Crossroad, and Barry G up on the radio, it's JBC radio station, is it? Yeah. And Barry G up on the radio, and Barry G say, I'm going to drop this one. And when I drop this one, I'm going to drop some bum on it. This is brand new. From selected Danny Dread, lying up Joe the Labour. Poof and drop my song, yo, I say, we come off a wrong bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> we come off a wrong bus stop, you end it. May I tell you? Yeah, man. I have a walk for a while time got me out. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Come off a wrong bus stop. Because two of my feel, my head start swell big, so. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to drop down my bus. Because I said, this can't real. Then, yeah, man, I walk and talk to myself. Go down to my yard and I say, I eat this. So I reach in the lane. I don't know who tell them to send me that up on the radio. But I tell you, everybody here is singing. 
Say no, say a beat fence, a beat, don't grow, 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 grow. Be your things. Yeah, man. Good thing my mother did their work. Because <laughs> <laughs> she'll find out that you're there. <laughs> yo, the way I'm excited okay. by the little old time story, you know, my vibes be like all oh, no more. I say, yo. No more, boy, that man. That's you. <laughs> that's it, go. So you, 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 so you get love from the community first. Yeah, yeah. The whole community love you first. Then the lady love you after. Yeah. And then the people, them were. Not like your mother, them forward third, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they want to find a reason for like you yeah, and yeah. show you the music and thing. Yeah. yeah, so you are the era DJ, you are the artist where the people them love in the era. So I so saw you get the love. So the lane know you, zinc fence are beat, beat down. down yeah. But then now, that now translates to. Yeah, that means you want to move on. I was going to say, yeah, you and are... this is now Beanie who. You start lock stage show, yeah, no stage show in Jamaica can't keep unless yeah. Beanie Man is headlining. No, this is this not Beanie Man, this is Beanie Baby. We are talking about Beanie Man. We are with Beanie Man yet. Beanie Baby, we are talking about. Look at Beanie Baby, <laughs> first sex, song release and thing, and people are beat down fence. Album, I have my album when I'm 10 years old. That is just wild to me. 10 year old DJ Wonder, Invincible Beanie Man. People from, you can Google it, man. Seriously? That's not serious. My picture depends on it and all of them somewhere. So. I can't hide. <laughs> yeah, you can see it, man. We do live album with Lee's Unlimited, all them things. So, the child starting, yes, it was real. Real, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was real. But then, when you start step up in your life now, because after Canada, you know, so I go to Canada, so I'm 10 years old. Oh, right, for the visa. The, the visa, man. Yeah, so it's Canada you was going? Yeah, Canada. Oh, okay, uh -huh. So, I'm go to Canada, we go to England, go to Cayman, then we go back to Canada. We decided to make a spend a little time. So when I come back to Jamaica, I was 88. Mm hmm. The day I um, leave, well, 87, 87, same time. Then. Mm -hmm. Go to Canada. And me I do a little recording, because I have some tune named Granny Cooking and some other songs, some little thing, you know? I go on, but my voice has changed. So I turn mm -hmm. big man now. So the little, I, as I, that can't work again. Right. So your, your voice has changed. So I come back at 88 now, because to, to become one of these stars now, these are Tennessee time and mm -hmm. Admiral Bailey time, Tiger them time. You have yes. to look like the star. So this is not like little boy time where you can't just put on anything. You have to have the linen suit and you have to have the ballet and you see it. So you have to go look at it in the cellar, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. So you have to have go far and go far and get some things and forward in Jamaica now. Be like a one bedroom and send me the man. Wow. Reach at Jamaica, the 11th, the Sunday. I go to um, Fort Clarence. Admiral Bailey was on stage when the first breeze blew. And he said, Gilbert, Gilbert blew. And cut away from me in the day. So we say, all right, Gilbert gone. It now blew back. So I mean, I'm also asleep. Good, good, good. Yes, I float. My mattress I float. In the night when I wake up, my roof is gone. <laughs> so, my house is in a pool. That good thing that the mattress you still have on the plastic. That's me, I sink. <laughs> I tell you, I see I am you finished. <laughs> Everything mash up, you know. What do you say? The liquid belly, them, I'm going to go buy and something for say, all right, starting them dead. Look at the shirt, they're going to go buy. Mash up, you know. Mash up. <laughs> Everything mash up. Back to square one. Oh man. I know you tell it in a funny way, but that rough still enough. Yeah, but you just about tell the story nice. Yes, I just no. But you have to laugh off of it now. Yeah, yeah. You can't have them think they're serious now. One yeah. time you're ball you live in your water. <laughs> so then your house and ball, man. I have one question to ask. Yeah. To this day, you still leave the plastic on your mattress? Oh yeah, say man. <laughs> <laughs> you have a plan for your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know that? I mean, because I'm a visionary. <laughs> yeah, I have a plan for you, flood man. I'm plastic saver, man. Can the match just start sliding off my bed and it start running, sir? So, so, <laughs> so, yeah, and if they were turning in there, problem with that joint, now, you see. Yeah, I have real terrorists coming home. <laughs> so, you look at the component set to my body, so they're dead. Oh, component man. set, dead, man. Water run through it, man, like a river jar. No, but literally, water coming in. Me, you... that, that, me I tell you, yeah. I mean, love in the water, but man, <laughs> all children never have no dish. But I tell you, <laughs> grung, me have to start from grung, man. 
Wow. So them dialing them and start stepping in the studio now and start do some songs and yeah, do some yeah. songs. See, me end up doing a quick turn till when I time the man them lock me up. Can't tell you them lock me up for, but them lock me up. And when them let me out, but they are road, a Mandela come to Jamaica. Mm. I'm going to the stadium and them boo me. Really? Yeah, hey, green, I'm over there, so I want you bring up the cologne where you borrow. Because if you don't do that, my friend, then your number boo the whole stadium. All the dog them boo me. Woof, woof. <laughs> all Mandela boo me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, all the brother when they shoot boo me before them shoot it. May I tell you? Everybody boo me, man. <laughs> so, we decide to say, all right, I hate this. Either, either. So, I go back to Kekto, I go back to Wato. So, I end up at Uatan. See, because I have some family down there, Steve, see them and thing, and build up a room down there and thing, and dead and dead and dead, and build some lyrics. I think it's Garnet Silk and um, Remnium. Yes, I'm Safari. Mm. I, do, I can do clearly now, mm. the rain is gone. Yeah. Now you see the bad feelings all disappear. I mean, I say, you know, I see your thing. I'm a guy to the voice of song and name. Hey, them I watch you. Hey, the man, them I chat you. Hey, the man, and the song goes a boof and bust. Me, I say, what? All right. Spread out, Miss Angela. Miss Angela, come on, they are with you, rough rider. Right? <laughs> Boom, bust. Me, I say, what? Look like me, they're on the right track. So I go and sing, matey, you're no good sitting. When me to pass all your mama and missing, girl, me to ya. Sang boss, me I say, wow, <laughs> nice this I go on. <laughs> so, yeah, every man I say, because them time they have money to print different visas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every man I say, yo, you can't fly go foreign because you have your visa now, you know. Me lift up my bed, my mattress and fling the, <laughs> the passport. <laughs> and I bet so. I say, go suffer by yourself if I leave me alone. Because three songs can carry me, I now go back and find that. I need a full catalog. Mm -hmm. You see? So I start part one and a few artists. They're fabulous, you know. Buck him in a studio and thing. And yeah. me and Jigs the King make two fly up because I think we'll go to um, Antigua and we'll go to um, Barbados. But any fly me I fly was small island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never go up foreign, foreign, foreign. Right. But you need local flying because of experience teaches That's wisdom. Right. That's so right. the more you go out and, and learn to perform outside there, and the more you can conquer foreign. Mm -hmm. So remember, I go, I go Guyana, and the man them give me the show for what me. I'm what me show. And when little Lenny done perform, the people there say, hey "Boy, you want to see about the market boy again, boy." <laughs> <laughs> so we end up work for the show three times. We end up go Barbie, the same thing happen because. You have to build upon your yes, performance. So yes. the, the more, the more, the more the people them give me love, or the more better I get. Cause mm -hmm. them time they may have more dancing than lyrics. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yeah, so yeah. them time they know me start build up some different thing. You have Michael Jackson have a, a song name. I'm bad, I'm bad, you know it. Me used to DJ upon the Michael Jackson <laughs> rhythm. Speed rap. Stang digi digi ding ba dang ba dang rap ba ba de de the Michael Jackson rhythm. Billy Lukes in between. Mm -hmm. And give them the Michael Jackson dance and murder place mash up. So you know you have to add into the performance because you only have three songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, it? Yeah. But me never know so the song that we do before that. It over Guyana. Me never know that. Ah. Okay. So when you go over there, you hear some song where you know you hear a Jamaica. But them over there play. Mm -hmm. Me have song like Ta like a boom for sinking our room. Make sure you run from the kitchen sill in the bathroom. That them song they are big songs. <laughs> I said, what well, go on? So the man must say, yeah, man, you have more song over here. Mm -hmm. So I saw the thing end up now. So I start listen to the radio station over there mm. and put my song them together with the song them we are playing over there. And that is how I start develop a, a liking for the performance. So I get to understand that so the more you perform, the better you get. And if it's one thing you're good at, you know, yeah, there is no question practice, anybody can ask. I, you I practice, are the man. king of performance. I practice. Because you see, up to today, day, when them say on stage being a man, mm -hmm. yeah, man, I'm still nervous. You know? Really? Yeah, if me, not, if me say Zagaza, I'm not here, not there, 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 problem. You know? <laughs> if, you know what that is? You have PTSD for the boo, them. <laughs> <laughs> you say, hold on, silence. Uh, you know wicked. the yeah, boo. Kind of and that's it. enough. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, I can't, no, I honestly can't believe you still get nervous. Yeah, man, yeah, always, always. Because Remember, too much confidence causes distraction. Ooh, a word. Yeah. 
So I'm too confident to say, yeah, I have this. Now, say Mike Tyson get knocked over. He win too much fight. True, you know. So I must say, Buster Douglas a baby, aren't you? And him go hold up him chin and bust a thump him and then he <laughs> And thump him down. I say, go man, you can't too confident. Have you have a confident in yourself, but you can't too confident. That's a word. Yeah. Question. Along your career, has anything ever been the Buster Douglas to the Tyson? Anything about knock your no, clean and like, you never no, see coming? No, no. Me never get knock out yet. Mm. Me fight back, right through. Yeah. Yeah, man. I care what kind of punch I'm through, man. I, yeah, man. I give them the rope and rope, you know, like a mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix them, you know? Yeah, man. No, man. Because you see, there's nothing can surprise me in the music. I come from sound system days. Mm. From when two DJ about kind of clash against each other. Mm. Your sound versus my sound. And mm -hmm. select a play the, the, first, the, the, the number one song and turn over back the version. And that's where I come from. Mm -hmm. So nothing is surprising to me in the music. Yeah. 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 Even when the wild lad decides say, all right, me and him go at it. Yeah, yeah. It may never surprise. Because when a DJ say, I'm kill you, it's either two years, you know, it's either I'm going to shoot you and kill you, or I'm going to kill you lyrically. Yeah. You see it? I would like to keep it lyrical. Yeah, and me know what's about to kill you and go shoot her. You see it? Mm -hmm. Because, you see it? Because it's lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if him can do that, I can do that. Mm. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So I take it on. And it was a good thing because I, I, I wasn't the, the gun type DJ, you know? Right. Yeah. Me, I'm, I'm, I am the girl them sugar That's for a right. reason. Because, That's right. Yeah. Because it not make sense because we're part of a whole heap of bad people, you know? Yeah. I don't know a whole heap of gun things and a whole heap of things about guns. So why you want DJ about that? Hmm. See, and this is something where you want something you want to keep yourself out of. Right. You want to stay from. Hmm. But then when the gun talk starts around Jamaica now, you'd be the only one, you'd be the only Christian in a dance hall. Because when you have Mad Cabri and Ninja Man I go at it and then yeah, yeah. to kill us, say, you're you dead. Where you going to run? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. You stand up and face it. Hmm. Yeah. You can get a one and two punches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you have to get the rope and open up. <laughs> Rock and forward. <laughs> Buff and chew a right hand and make it. Yeah, boy, hold up your chin and watch yourself. <laughs> you get to be honest. I yeah, yeah. go. Yeah. You have to know that. So there's no surprising music for I and I. Mm. None. Because everything in music you expect. You expect mm. fight. You expect people to go bad mind you. You're not going to expect everybody to love you. Like, right. God know, if them crucify Jesus Christ, who you think you'll be, man? That's right. Yeah, That's man. Right. Yeah, we just know them things. But when you said nothing in music surprised I. has surprised you, yeah. how, how has the response to personal life issues, how do you deal with that? Because that's not the same. No. If personal being a life musical is just, Yeah, a different thing, man. Personal thing. life is a different thing. Yeah. Because that's how it named personal. That's right. So everything is personal as long as a person. Right. You see? Mm -hmm. So you see, personal life is a different thing because you have to anger that in a... In a different format. Yeah. See, because that comes with heartfelt and emotion yeah. and yeah. all different type of things. Yeah. And real do, life. This real is real life. life. Yeah. yeah. I ain't get back no, no, no try over in that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that now you have to use time to fix that. Mm. There's nothing I can tell you what you can do to fix that. Because mm. you have to fix yourself and you have to help yourself get better. Because nobody can help you. No care where your pastor be and no care where your body is. When you're done don't talk, you see him and you alone have to go home. Figure deal with your emotions. A word. Yeah. A word. So you see that and you have to fix that. And you fix that with time. But then how do you manage the weight of being criticized and scrutinized on a personal level? Because yeah. as you say, I am here as an artist because I put out music. Yeah. But the criticism and the scrutiny of your personal affairs. Personal affairs. Well, yeah, you have to deal with that because you're a public figure, you know. Yeah. Then, and once it's a public figure, people are going to know where I'm to you. You see it? And then, once people know I'm to you, they know I'm to you more than where you know where I'm you to you. Talk truth. Talk truth. So, every man going to tell you the reason why it happened. Mm -hmm. Because them be dead, eh? Or them have a cousin where you know a cousin. Or, and a, a, a friend of them cousin, 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 where you used to par with them cousin, know everything. You see it? So, where you do you see that you make people talk because them mouth cut cross you and tongue in there. Mm. As long as them not dumb, them are gonna talk. That's right. You see it. So yeah. what you do now, you watch people scooting you of you and listen to them expectation of you. And you laugh. What are you gonna do about it? 
Because a man can't tell me what to do. I live my life, I call me how I live it. Right. You got to tell me, right. say, me shouldn't do this and me should I do that. And if me did do that, my life would have better. You can't tell me what to make my life better. That's God. right. That's right. This is my life. This is the reason why I'm still here, being an entertainer. A word. You see it? If me follow only my mother already and yeah. run away and lock up in asylum and take much mad pill, I don't depend on that. Mm. People free for scrutinize, people free for criticize. Because the only criticism when I don't want to hear is being a man dead and I can't come back and say I'm not dead. Right. But that's why you know. Anything you say, I can't turn that positive. Mm. Any negative you bring to me, I turn that not positive. Mm. Because I can't watch what people say about me. People want to say about me in a year month, man. As long as you don't drape me up and you don't thump down my face, me are you nice. Everything good. You know, you can't run me away, tell me anything, I'm still say respect and manners. Because I see the problem is, you are a local man who is trying to look recognition from me. So if you see me out of the road and want to disrespect me publicly, where you look? A newspaper you want to make? Mm. You make newspaper the wrong way you call people. You see you normally and hurt you for me. Mm. This is the problem. Right. So you don't pay the look of man no mind. You see yeah. the man with the smaller brain, him talk louder than the man with the bigger brain. A word. Yeah, man. Moses, that is a word. You see this thing, man? The man with the look of peanut brain, him chat the moo. <laughs> Yeah, man. I tell <laughs> that. Yeah, That's why I'm that. talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm always louder than you, man. I'm always bigger than you, man. I look at him and laugh. Because see the reason why him laugh? Where does win? Everything has to go for me, then. Mm. You go like you can't blow me down. <laughs> you really can't blow me down, man. You have to knock me for knock me down. Man, say, word is wind. Yeah, man. That go is ahead, a word. Man. Go for it, man. So you the peer, peer people mind. When people talk about your life and things, oh God. You just live your life and make them to say, you know, mash up. And you're good. My family are right. You see it? May I take care of you them and everything good. That's it. You know, yeah, yeah do. Prove to people say what? Well, no, sir. Nothing you can prove. Ooh. Nothing. You Especially can to these people. Hmm. Them know everything. That's what I tell us. Man have your feet, eh? And Johnny this, Johnny have him number. Call Johnny. <laughs> 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 Johnny, talk to me. Hey, what thing go with me, man? And Johnny, the pandemic, I tell you from what you man. I tell them, them boy, you say, you know. The poor Johnny. The poor Johnny. Johnny got a whole gate where we used to live in our apartment one time. And I eat that. And that's where I know me from. Gospel. There you go. Gospel. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at your journey. Yeah. Um. What for you would be a highlight of your career thus far? Yeah, Mandela Boo. Because after that, my boss. <laughs> yeah. You say that, you know, most people say that was a negative. Man says a highlight. Yeah, man, I'm the best part of my life. Because that's what I know. This name to me again. Yeah, change the game totally. Good blessings. Yeah, man, this came to me again. Mm -hmm. All right. When the government fix the road, and when them driving on the road and, and them tire busing in a patrol, then they realize that the road needs to fix. You have to know these things. So I'm to, that highlight to me you know, say, all right, the people them need the road. All them I tell you, you never know. Until you tire punch in on a spare tire. So I've got jacket up, cart out, <laughs> put tire <laughs> chop, <laughs> patch it, get back and put on the van and drive it. And you have to go back around there. You're going to want to talk to you again? Okay. By tomorrow, bulldozer are around there, they go around. Wow. I saw it go. See, if you're not empty, you're not going to know it for you. Yeah, yeah. So, you bust a yard. Yeah. You are the biggest thing in mm -hmm. Jamaica. You cross over. Mm -hmm. You do major work abroad. Mm -hmm. And then you start to collaborate with some of the <clears throat> Biggest mm -hmm. names in music ever yeah. in music, not in Jamaica, not only in I mean in worldwide the history, international, yeah, globally. That yeah. that must have changed the game completely for you. Must well, have. Well, all right. You see, all right. Music. The journey of music is like you have built a house. You they dig the foundation, then you lay the first layer block. Then you build the first the first floor. You not put on the roof yet, you know. But you see, by building, building. You, you, you get better at building. So it's not like nothing surprising again because you know the roof has to go on because you have the money. 
But the money they run the kind of run the so. So when the work come, and you say, all right, bam, you have Neptunes that are going to make two rhythm for you. You say, all right, Neptunes them, that sound good. But remember, say, you put yourself there. Mm -hmm. Because if it wasn't Royal Dance, my first Billboard song, if it wasn't Romy, which is my next Billboard song, and Girls Them Sugar, which is my next Billboard song, and some song I do with Dougie Fresh them from back in the days, I wouldn't be recognized. Right. So right. I start building my house myself. Now find somebody that come finish it. You know, where I say, I'm ready, man. Where I say, so you, you start build a building and you, you see the building that go finish. And in a different way, the, the architect mm -hmm. we design your building. That one is better than the next one we design your building. So you, be, you, you, you layer get better and better and better and better and better and better. Mm -hmm. So you know, come as a surprise. So when you go boom and you do Maya, I will take the stars out the side. The bigger the There's song. nothing in this world <laughs> that I wouldn't do. Yeah. If I could be young. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're not, you're not on the cue for stuff. So, what you do now? Yeah, you start get bigger and bigger. Yeah. So, when you see Maya, you see Janet Jackson. You see Janet Jackson, you see mm -hmm. Akon, you see Akon, you see Wycliffe, you see Wycliffe. You see. So, you start go to yeah. the layer of music. So, yeah. by the time the roof go on, you know, you have to slap that because you can't put it on the roof yet. You have a next part to go up. Mm -hmm. So you have further to go. Mm -hmm. So when you realize a baby to a yard bill, <laughs> so you go to us. <laughs> without the confusion. Yeah, without the confusion. <laughs> so you go to us, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, you go. so you have to just continue, you know. Don't stop. No care what them do. They make them discourage you mm. at all times. Because when we meet Janet Jackson, I have her as a prima donna. Until me and I start talk. She actually like me. I said, what? Well, this is going. Me and I end up a reason. Every time we get a break, me and I are there and I see every room. Me and I are there, they are chat right through. And me I tell her about Jamaica and she tell them, say, and Malibu she come from and which part of the video shoot her backyard and she and Michael Jackson the music done there at the daytime. Wow. Yeah, so me end up cause here warm to me and I now. You know, Malibu get cool at night time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I am a marina, you know, and I have a spiff, you know. And she says, so, Oh, you know, she shake, and I say, I have lizard blood. That's where you get that from. I said, Joe, you come here, call me a chat. And I had a reason, and that's it. So, you meet nice people, good people. No, Mr. Ress, you're going to tell me, so you start trembling when the night get cool. No, Mr. Ress, you know, <laughs> man. Because, you see, me and them time, I drink anything, you know. So I and my NC and my bun and spit, never shake. <laughs> so she I wonder how me now nah shake. So I tell her, I say, you know. Ah, gotcha. Cool blooded, at least that blood we have here, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that was the whole conversation. That's where the whole conversation started with me and I. Then she ended up wanting to do the scene them with me. Because you know Janet Station, I like people, you know. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. But she's a nice person. When you get to know yeah. her, she's a beautiful person. Yeah, man. So she end up start shooting the scene them with me. Mm -hmm. Because she get to realize them. It's not one of them man there. Right? Touch it, touch it and feel the feel. You have some money see Janet and go, so come here, girl. <laughs> 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 it's not one of them guys there, is it? Yeah. 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 You don't want to be that guy. Like, <laughs> Do you want to be that guy? Never you want to be that guy. <laughs> yeah. So she, she get to realize and say she can work with me. Because you know? I'm yeah, not yeah. a girl frightened guy. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that guy. Yeah, so, so when you see the video, you see certain scene when me and her are face to face. Mm -hmm. She know they didn't see that people. It's true. Come on, you grab her. It's true. Yeah, man, come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so me and her turned friend, me and her link up. Then Jeremy and Dupree was her boyfriend, and he was the president for Virgin anyway. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Me and them, ah, which part we there? We go, oh God, we go on one island, half of one island. And them be there in the shore. Because we pass Jeremy's boat and I see, but I me, me wonder if I hit. When we mm -hmm. look at Jeremy in I show him and I shoot two of them shots. We get cheer <laughs> give them to stand up. <laughs> so, <laughs> <not too> sure. <laughs> so I know you're not supposed to do this, but I might ask you to be biased. Yeah, but you're the least biased. But just, I don't know, make we see. Of all your collaborations, do you have a favorite? Well, <laughs> me still a collaborate. Ooh. That's such a good pageant answer. <laughs> like you. you all were at peace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still collaborating. Yeah. It's true though. Yeah. Because really. even on your recent project, I mean, yeah. even like you 
the single that you led the yeah, album with, the album with Dre with Island and Popcorn. Popcorn. No loan collaboration? Yeah, that? loan collaboration. Yeah. And the album have a whole heap of collaboration on it. Because I have Wood Celebrity on the album. Mm -hmm. I have Bungie Garland on the album. Mad. Yeah. I have Sean Paul on the album. Mad. Me, me, me actually, I cover back movie star rhythm and put Anthony Red Rose to um, sing the punchline. Really? Yeah. I actually, I cover back. <clears throat> Angel ready and put Shaggy on it. Really? Yeah. Yo. Album bad. I may have busy signal on the album. Yo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I may have Dexter Dabs on the album. But brand new song though. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, my bad. vibes just build for real, real. Eh? Yeah, I mean, my yeah. vibes it already build, but I <laughs> say, yo. The album bad, man. A bad album. Proper. Yeah, sir. So, we're still making collaboration. Yeah. See? Yeah. I yeah. right. love work with Janet Jackson because she's a beautiful woman. I like work with Maya because she's a great, 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 great girl. But we're still making yes. collaboration. Yeah. So I do have a favorite collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. If you, looking back at your career, yeah. is there one thing that you'd have done differently? Serious? Yeah, I have more control and management hmm. when I was younger. I yeah. made control more, you see it? Certain yeah. things don't happen, certain yeah. things don't go on. Yeah. yeah. Like what? No, I am Patrick tracking vibe with any of my followers because I have more control of my business. Right. More than me, I say I'm going to rob me and them things. You get to me, I say? Yeah. So if you have more control of that from jump start, hmm. yeah. Do you think enough people in the business understand the business behind music? And no, not just well, making of music? No, well, you see, I think every man understands the business now because every man comes out with their own company. Right. Yeah, as you see a man music, you see this a man music, that the man music. You know, mm -hmm. see, shocking by production, wit, rare, rare. Mm -hmm. Every man have their own company. So I think everybody understands what the music business is behind yeah. the music now. Yeah. Yeah. Because when, when we really start, we never study about the music business, we just yeah. study about the music. See? Because yeah. as I get a youth, all your 10 year old police, police and soldiers see and beat you. Know? Mm. Because yeah. you come from dance late. So you don't want to be recognized. You know, you want to get recognized. You just yeah. sing some song and make two cassettes and. Yeah. Yeah, all right. One time, all a man did want is a write up night in I Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If a man make the front page I Star, everybody at Jamaica know him, him face popular. So mm -hmm. that way, him can tell a man, say, yo, me. Me and your artists get one write up for your whole year mark with the one newspaper in my back pocket just to show police say I'm an artist. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Same thing yet is police, them wicked enough. Yeah, yeah. Them beat your bad man. Yeah. For no reason because you get a youth. Mm. And then you have on a clock, so them now we are. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So it used to go, man. So you'd have to out there mm -hmm. at all times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. See? Them kill Big John and Floxy and Echo. Mm. General Echo, the man, a true Echo a DJ. Mm. And the man have him license gun and him still shoot down the man dead in the middle of a tree. Mm. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, them time that man just want to get recognized, you know? Mm -hmm. Face out there, um, come up on TV and them things. Yeah. yeah man. I am going to do some Spitfire questions with you, right? Go, go, go. As I put it out. Fire. You see, I love brilliant people. This is, I love, I love it. I love it. But you can't take long and answer, you know. First thing that comes to me, you might have to say it, right? Fire. All right. Favorite food? Food. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite type of food? Oh, steam fish and ton caramel with red peas and coconut milk. Mad. I don't even need to add that to me. How that make? Oh, I like how you make rice and peas, but only but with caramel, yeah. Okay, let me just write that down. One second. <laughs> now go make that. Um, favorite movie? Favorite movie? Me's a movie man, so favorite movie will be kind of difficult. Well, you have to tell me one. Hello. Okay, you have Scarface. Mad. You have Godfathers. Oh, You two. have Road to Perdition. Oh, three. You have, you have can't give you a million more if you want. <laughs> yeah. He's a movie man. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce um, Lee, Enter the Dragon. By the way, I really like that movie too. Yeah. 
Question. What's your favorite song that you have ever made? Oh, I still have make song, so I don't really have a favorite song. I tell you when I make it. All right, cool. What's your favorite song that's not your song? Oh, Learn It, Zion. Mad, I never saw that coming. Okay, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite country that you visited? Japan. What? Is the food and the clothes and the fashion and the lifestyle? No, the people. Wow. Yeah. Them nice for you. The attitude of the people. It's true. Yeah. Most respectful culture I've yes, ever seen ever. anywhere true. in the world. True. I've never seen anything more respectful. And the name brand cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a cheap store job, right? <laughs> real Gucci, real everything. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do on a weekend? Oh, I go to the family. When not working. What is your favorite fragrance? Herbs. Man! <laughs> By the way, that probably just did this over two people's <laughs> head. But I love it. Um, okay, last one. Very last one. What is the thing that you want to be remembered for the most? One of the greatest DJ of all time. I think you will be. Bless him. I'm pretty sure Bless him. that you will be. If you were to give me your top three life hacks, like if you're saying to people, you see, with your career or your life or just anything in general, these three things are super important to have a positive outcome in life. What would your top three life hacks be? Wait. Now for your Sagicor life hacks. Sagicor clock on and go. All right, career. Whether you're art, all right, say so you're an artist. You have to dress the part, look the part. That means you can't look like the man who fix the mic when you come on stage. Please. Mm. You have to get your lyrics together. And when you perform in front of kids, just please know so you have to edit the song then. And three, respect yourself like how you respect the audience. And the audience will give back the same amount of love. Thanks. Wow. Stop the clock. Wow. That is proper. Should I go somewhere else with it? You want to go somewhere else? Go on again, hold on. Next clock. And back with the clock. Go. And one more thing. Work hard in the studio, make music. But when you come on stage, work harder on stage. Because that people remember your performance in life. And the next thing. One more thing and make sure so you always know that. In sync with your band or your DJ. You cannot depend on stage or cuss your DJ or cuss the band. Unprofessional. Now nah, work. This is the MasterCard Priceless Moment. Okay, I have one more thing for you to do. Right. So you see, because I know that you are a person who always down for something fun. Yeah, at all times. <laughs> We're going to play a game. So, are you ready for this game? Look but at him face. It's again. nothing for eat, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> So here is what we have to do, right? Yeah. I actually don't know what is in here either. Okay. Everything that was written on these, I have not seen at all. So I'm just as clueless as you, right? So you're going to draw one of these out of the bowl and we're going to play charades. So I have to act out what it is and you have to guess what it is and you have to act out and I have to guess, okay. right? Okay. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Okay. No, you go first. Um. I didn't have everything, ladies, before gentlemen, so. No, man, age before beauty. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually saying that I'm old? I, no, I didn't right. say that at all. Yeah, it's because sure. you're younger. <laughs> okay. You have to act it out. You have to act it out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ayers. Chain. Oh, by the way, if it's a movie or a anything like that, you can actually go soft, show me movie or like this for food or a song or whatever. Paint, draw, listen, AirPod, phone, cut, open, rainfall. You, King. Doctor. She oh, shit. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> put on this test. Stop. Oh, oh. man. I take all day, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moses said, girl, come on. Yeah. All right. 
That's a good one. Oh, I should have figured. Oh my God. Okay. We're like a boy. Dancing? We're like a boy. Boy. Boga? Beanie man? Yeah, we're like a boy. Dance. Uh, mm. yeah. okay. The actual, Dish. what you tell people to do in the song. Roll like a boat, to do, roll like a boat. Mm. Uh, move to the, um, the fear jar, fear rope, then you roll like a boat. <laughs> don't know what you're saying. Roll, roll the like, dance. Roll like the boat. Roll the boat. Oh, roll the boat. Sure. Mm. But, uh, anyways, but just at least you were like close. Yes. Jesus Christ, lady. Just, you, you, were you were close. You were close. We get it three times. Uh, a true. Close enough, Mickey. So I'm still. All right, there we go. Climbing. Climbing a mango tree. Picking. Seriously, so gotcha. <laughs> Aki tree. Climb. Hold on. One Step foot. up. Step. Next foot. And still a climb. Still a go up. Still a go up. Looking over Look yonder. Over a light post. Still Look. a climb. Still a go up. Climbing a ladder, Jesus Christ. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you climb a ladder, you're on a foot. <laughs> you think you climbed the mango tree? Yeah. I said, climbing a mango tree. I climb a mango tree, I jump and hang up some. A true, but, talk yeah. true. But, yeah. Oh, this is hard. Oh, no, no, sure. it's not hard actually. Okay. Uh, one. Mm -hmm. I love you. One heart. One love. Yes! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Put this a few. <laughs> All right. Oh, pond the river, pond the bank. Yeah, all right. Ma, yeah, that was yeah. it? Yeah. That was Yay! It. <laughs> I get one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Great. Manga? Eat manga? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Eating a mango. Eating a mango. Well done. <laughs> Last one. Now I'm see a jump and pick a mango. Yeah, right. And then I start peel it. See so. there and with yeah. this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Walking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me. Moses. King. Mm -hmm. Dance hall. King of the dance hall. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Boom! That makes sense, my accurate eye. Right. <laughs> the man just say me. <laughs> argument done. And on that note, yeah. argument done. done. Right, right. The king of the yes, dance hall. Moses, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. And people remember the album name, say, Go and get it, don't play with me. I mean, I'm not, that's I'm not what you ramping say. with people. So, yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for having me, babe. <laughs> it, was, it was a pleasure being here. It was my pleasure. Yeah, it was a pleasure it's... being here. Oh, wait, guess what? I have something for you. What? Dun, dun, dun. You have things for me? I do. Because okay. I just really appreciate you. All so right. that's an Odyssey by Yendi shirt for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, well, let me see. What size you, what size you wear? Medium. Oh, perfect. Yeah, man, I'm your size. I'm yeah. your size. Medium, medium. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much for what you do for Brand Jamaica. Thanks. Thank you so much for what you do for Dance Hall, for waving the flag of Dance Hall as high as you wave it. Um, you're, you're an icon, you're an icon, and I feel honored to be living in this time and space to witness it with my own eyes. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you for being who you are and continue being sweet. Don't stop, okay? Yes, you're sir. a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. Continue, darling. Thank Blessings. You. I'm glad me know you. Yeah. Same Blessings. here. Take care. Yeah, no, yeah, me yeah. glad as a me know you. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me glad as a me know you. Me glad as a me know a goddess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Bless you. Bless you, darling. Don't worry, you know, you're so soft. Make us start cry. Thank you so much. Every time. Odyssey with Yendi Untold Journeys was brought to you in partnership with Sagicor and Mastercard.